Hello everyone, I'm Stigma. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to green screen on WWE 2K19. I'll be using the PlayStation 4 and I'll be recording using the Elgato HC60S. It's okay if you're not the most technical person, don't worry, it's a very straightforward and easy tutorial. I'll show you step by step on how to do it. So with that being said, let's get started. First things first, launch the game, then head over to creations, then create a new arena. What you're seeing currently is an arena I've made in the past. This is uploaded on the PlayStation 4 community creations. So if you're looking to bypass this tutorial on how to create the arena and you're on the PS4, you can go ahead and search stigma or green screen on the shows area on the community creations. But if you're not on PS4, do not worry. I'm showing you right here that this is how you make the green screen arena so you can put your cause up there and take away the green screen and replace it with uh, whatever you want. But uh, I use the biggest Titan Tron, the biggest available, because that's going to be your backdrop. And the stage, I use a stage where it doesn't have any texture, just a plain green, because um, there's a few stages where it has like a kind of texture to it, and you don't want that because it adds a bit more like detail and you just want a plain solid green landing but that's the green screen what you're going to do is when you finish it make a match obviously select the the arena that you've made go in the match you can either be two player or one player i just quickly did it for one player go up to the area and do whatever it is you want to do then pause the game go to highlight reel and then obviously go to the section where you're on the green screen area Then go ahead and pick your camera angle. So from here, you're just gonna play around and pick the best camera angle. Make sure that obviously the backdrop, which is a green screen, is in the back. Then once you're satisfied with the camera angle, go to the encoder menu and then click preview. While you're previewing the clip, click record on your capture device because you're recording this clip and then you're going to take that and put it into your video editing software. The next stage is actually going over to your PC or laptop and go to your video editing software. Click and drag the clip that you're going to be using onto the timeline. Just edit the clip to where you see fit. I'm just trimming it down so it takes away all the menu bars at the bottom and the extra pieces that I don't need. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away all this uh, text that's around the video. Um, for some reason you can't hide these things which is a pain in the ass. Um, what I do is I zoom in to the clip so you just go to the crop key and you just play around with the video there. Here you can also hide bits of the text. I'm not going to hide the top part mainly because his elbow or his shoulder will get in the way and it will end up hiding there. But all you need to do is use a rectangle key on the mask option as I'm showing here. Click and drag and make the rectangle on the area you want to hide and then click the negative option. Either you can pick the positive one, which will isolate the section that you've selected, or you can use the positive one, which will take away the selection. So now I'm gonna show you how to remove the green around your character. Basically go into the effects tab, click chroma key, then click OK. And what you're going to do is you're going to click the color and then the color picker. Then you're going to go over to the preview tab and you're going to select the color there and it should take it right away. 
Now you might want to play around with it with a little bit. It depends on the quality of your capture device. Mine's is quite good. So um, you want to play around with the sliders just a little bit. I advise to put on the show mask. So when it's you, you want to make it white and black and make it nice and rounded around the edges. Or sharp, I should say. Sharp around the edges. So it takes away all the little bits of green around the character and just doesn't make it look all pixelated around and unprofessional. It makes it really professional looking once you play around the sliders and then you can just take it off and you can see how clean cut that looks. Now let's add the backdrop. So create a new video track then place the video or screenshot you like to use to be behind the call and make sure that it's in the video track that's below the green screen clip. Now as you can see the green is completely removed, the background of that clip has been removed through the effects of chroma key. And from there you can play around with it with different effects. I'm going to add uh, I think a night vision effect which will be in the video effects tab yes so you click and drag for this one he's in like a kind of infiltrating a base so to speak he's in this kind of office and he looks like he's um, Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell so uh, yeah just play around with like different effects you can do whatever as you want you're, you're not limited if you've seen the videos I've done in the past I've done stigma in a nightclub with lights flickering and um, an evil person, Schizo, which is my friend's call, appearing in front of the bar, which is in front of the screen. Um, I've done a strip club scene, I've done a bar fight scene, just little bits and clips that I was playing around with and trying to learn and see how things operate. But with this video, I think I'm pretty much done with it. Um, got the green screen right. I'll put a few more effects and once you've finished playing around with it and edited it, it should look like this. I hope that's helped you guys out. If you have any questions, just drop a comment on this video. If it's on Twitter, just send me a direct message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. With that being said, I uh, hope you all have a good day and thank you all for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.